Today in this video is I want to share how to control LED strip with ESP32. So this is LED strip that we can control any color by using uh, ESP32. So you will see that uh, this we have a three wire that we represent for the red is a positive. So you will see right here that is a five plus is for 5 volt positive and the ground GND is for 5 volt negative and DIN is data in so this is data input that's very important it, it this you can control as uh, RGB and it's multiple color that will be controlled from uh, the apps you can control from the application you can use a handphone or you can use a PC all right so if your LED is only two wire you will not able to control so you need to make sure that you are having the right LED to be able to control from microcontroller. All right, so I my LED is just for one, two, three, four, five, five LED. That's a bunch of LED. That will be one row will be uh, most of the time we have a five meter. So I'm gonna test with this five LED. So actually this is already cut it off from uh, five meter all right so the important is you must make sure that you are using the right led strip all right and then this is esp32 i'm using this is dev key v1 and any model you can use this will work all right so the important is esp32 here you will see a lot of pin right here and then you will see it's 3.3 volt ground and these are the digital pin digital input output and here there is no 5 volt basically but if you want to have a 5 volt you will see here is a v in v in is stand for uh, voltage input but the esp32 advantage for us is we can use this as 5 volt output so this is a very convenient to have uh, any things to control to apply for the 5 volt. So we're going to use directly this LED strip 5 volt to make it for power from a V in. So we're going to use USB cable. You need to make sure that you are using the right USB cable that we be able to transfer the data. All right. So I'm going to take it. Uh, plug to your ESP32 here and connect to your computer so your ESP32 is connected to the computer and this is working fine here there's LEDs turning on and we need to get to Google uh, just type LED dot me the blue LED dot me right then you just type we're using the Google here I hope you can see these things and so here we are using this install the blue LED And this is the page that you're gonna see here. So from here, let's install. And what you're gonna see is here, you'll be able to see this USB driver to connect to your ESP32. So we need to clip these things here, to connect. And here you will see, install the blue LED. Uh, this is the one that we let us to control. All right, so we need to clip install and install. So when you installing, you need to press your ESP32 uh, boot button that we allow us to 
install is wrapping up okay installation complete then we release the boot button right and next you're gonna do is you just click again and click here and install so we'll be directly again here then try to connect so you will see right here so uh, what we're gonna do is connect to the Wi-Fi so here you need to provide your Wi-Fi password after you provide your Wi-Fi password just try to click connect right so go to uh, okay before you visit to the device here we're gonna set up the hardware connection here so uh, right now our ESP is connected to the computer then LED we connect to VCC 50 is we connect to 50 we're gonna use a small jumper wire and this is black is the negative and blue is the data that is a signal so this is LED strip so a positive 5 volt is we connect to V in V in is positive 5 volt and here is ground and this is we're gonna use digital pin number 13 you can use any digital pin number so I'm gonna use digital pin number 13 here and this is my LED strip uh, I just have one two three four five I'm gonna use just five five pieces all right and I hope you can see this and so we visit to the device you click device so this is the page that you're gonna see here and here configuration and LED preference so LED preference here is very important we are using the power directly from ESP32 so ESP32 the pin we only handle for below 1 ampere so we cannot uh, use so much high if not your ESP can be burned so what we're gonna do is here okay is 850 milliamp that is okay maximum current consumption because we directly use this ESP32 so the LED brightness will be not so much and so here this is very important the color is RGB and this is LED pieces how many pieces of your LED use if you are using for one meter or five meter you need to calculate how many LED per meter right so I'm using this as I can see here it's a five so I will use only for I will just type five and here digital pin number I'm using digital pin number 13 so I will use digital pin number 13 okay so you're gonna save all right so the moment you save then LED is changing the color so here this is what you're gonna see your LED I'm gonna place right here so that you can see this and so you, if you back and here you will see a lot of color right here then if you click here the color will change so a lot of color you can change from here if a blue then you make it blue if you click red this will get red if you you can change any color right here that will be depending on you that that's a black so black is nothing is dark all right so mm -hmm. that is solid and here if you're using this here you just type and then they're speaking so if you scroll down there's so many function here if a rainbow then you get a rainbow color you just click one times all 
all right so if you clip this so here if you chase flush chase random colorful all right this is a very simple and a very easy you don't have to write any code right here you just need to upload uh, this library file and you just install so that's a brand very simple that you can change a lot you can make it for yourself and your home and so you can even install in your phone so uh, you can use your phone to install this LEP the blue LEP apps from Play Store then directly you will control it must be the same Wi-Fi then only you can control alright so if you are using the very long LED strip you must not use directly from ESP32 if not your ESP will be burnt so now my ESP is a little bit, a little bit warm but it's still safe so what we can do if in case if you are using for uh, one meter LED strip or one row LED strip you are not going to use in this position of course because your ESP will be burned so what we can do is here we need to take the power here a VCC pin we take the VCC pin and we will connect to extra 5 I have extra 5 here this is my 5 power supply and here the 5 power supply and then the ground 5 positive we goes to positive of LED here and 5 ground we goes to LED here uh, LED ground so this position from ESP32 the output is only ground and a signal so the main power is 5 volt coming from extra power supply so 5 volt positive direct to LED 5 volt negative direct to LED so this position you can use no matter how long of LED you can apply so this is very fun and very easy so we use extra power supply so our LED is much more bright and So we can change the color from here. We can play around these things. If you just wanna have one color, then you need to select solid. And this we only bright for uh, one color. Then you still can change any color. But if like a uh, blinking, or this is a blinking, this is rainbow all right so i hope this video will help for someone and if you like this video and please like comment and share my video and i will make more video and that means a lot for me and thank you for watching my video